After visiting Gaul, it was time to head over to the coastal area of Sri Lanka to discover some of the beaches and have a couple of days of rest and relaxation in this area called Talala. Our stay here in Sri Lanka is at a beautiful place that we found right beside the ocean. We have this magnificent, beautiful pool like this. We're staying over there in this side of the house. The other couple are staying on the other side of the house and there's a shared kitchen over there. I'll show you the setup. This is our setup for the next few days. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Basically, it's like this. So that's the common area over there where the girls are sitting. And we share that to have our meals. And then over here is the kitchen. Mini outdoor indoor kitchen like this, where we have just very basics, which is unfortunate. Because Angelique actually last night, we went out and bought all the things to do baking. We were gonna bake some banana cake. And instead we turned it into banana um, crepes this morning with chocolate inside this is their property it's absolutely gorgeous we are just loving 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 it <laughs> angelique's attempting to blow this one up let's see you blow it up angelique my tummy sore. oh come on <laughs> there she goes go go angelique so last night was extremely hard to sleep because there's no air conditioning I don't know who lives in this climate with no air conditioning, but the locals and some of the yeah. expats that are here for a while do. I guess you get acclimatized to it, but it was a challenge for us because I'm just seriously not used to it. So um, yeah, I couldn't hardly sleep. So tonight I've got an extra ventilator and that should hopefully do the trick. But it's literally, the humidity here is about 70% and um, it's between 36 uh, and the lowest it gets is like 25, 26. So when you don't have much air and you have those mosquito nets on top which stop the air from coming through, it's really challenging, but tonight she'll be better. Ready for it? This is the ultimate beautiful beach, literally right outside the door. And look at those waves. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so pretty. Our days at Talala included loads and loads of time just swimming in the pool and trying to stay cool and refreshed from that hot Sri Lankan sun. We even attempted to try and do schoolwork in the heat. Ah, it didn't go so well. We did our very first ride on a crazy bus and it's so much fun because they play some loud, funky music. So today we came to one of the nearby towns to get some fish. So this is the fish market. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Nice. It's nice, yeah. It's big. Look at this guy, too. After getting everything we needed at the markets, it was time to hit the road again and go back home and make some delicious dinner. And it's very important the sickness. The thickness. Sickness is very important. That's why I ask him to make about half inch. Uh -huh. If it's bigger, it will be take longer time, and inside maybe some blood or something. Chloe got in there and started to help with the food prep. Amazing view. It's 
So you've got some sushi. Uh, everyone has a little bowl with some garlic and some ginger. We've got tuna steaks, some delicious rice. And best of all, in the distance, we've got a sunset view. Nice. Bon appétit, everyone. Bon appétit. So it is seven in the morning, and every morning you hear the music playing from the school. I just went across the street and I bought a loaf of bread, and it cost me thirty cents. So that's the price of a loaf of bread here. After we quickly stopped at some of the local stores and stocked up on some of the essentials, we got back on another bus and this time, well, we had a little bit of issues with the engine. I think the motor died on the bus. to go to a local's house for tea time. So, let's see if we can get going. If not, we're gonna have to get off and get on a tuk tuk. seven or eight hour drive in a little tiny bus. Looks like we're off again. Here we go. Can I put this in it? Sure. Tell them what, what are we doing, Angelique? I don't exactly know. Right now, we are on our way to go to a local's house. We're going to go show you the way they live. And um, it's a gentleman who also has a daughter that is the girl's age, so we're going to go see. And he also grows rice, he grows different trees uh, from some of the local spices and stuff, so this is going to be interesting. So we weren't expecting food. <laughs> I thought we were gonna just have a tea. And he made us something called egg hoppers, or poppers. Oh. Basically, it's kind of like they're, they're almost like a pancake, I would explain it. See, like this? And then some of them, they put an egg inside. And it's really, really good. It's delicious. I have no idea what this is. This is like um, banana leaf, and then inside, they have something here. I 
don't know what it is. And then I've got these cake and then and this something else. I believe some curry something. Mm. Oh, good. We have to learn how to make this because it's so yummy, isn't it? Mm. I saw the recipe oh, I love it. yesterday. We saw a recipe. Can Perfect for this? breakfast. Oh, this ketchup. Me is plus one. Can I tag these? Where is my phone? Team. 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 Nice name. There's a big monkey up there. Right there. Oh, yeah, look at Oh, that's going there. Where is he? It's going down. So many. Uh, yeah, I, that, I fixed this net. Otherwise, are, here you can see fingers. The monkey's coming yeah. in. No fingers, way. the black. I see, see, I see all the fingerprints there. They're trying to throw inside. Yeah. Coconut, they are drinking and put some, yeah, sometimes uh, vehicles damage. The monkeys do that? Yeah. The monkeys do that? See, that one. Huh? Yeah. They are take off and open. This here is your pepper tree. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. No, they're not done. Yes, yeah, see, paper. Oh, nice. This is all the pepper here. Look at that. Rice field. We fall even a ton of I must say, watch out for the cobra snakes. What? It? <laughs> there snakes? No, there's no snakes here. That one. Is it the log? Step on the log because it's deep water. Step on the log and then step on the log. Okay, move out of the way because this log is sinking. Okay. Step on this log because you don't want to trip. Then I plant again a small plant. Oh, I can yeah. smell it. Hmm, smells good. Smell the cinnamon, girls? Yeah. Cut it and take a bit. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. I was, read, I was reading about cobra bites. So they built this thing right here for owls, if you can imagine, because owls come here at night and they look all the way around, and once they see a mouse, or oh, mice, mice, a lot of them, they go and grab it so and eat it. The protection against all the rice. Yep, that way, that way uh, there's no uh, mice. It almost looks like a cobra head. If you're walking at night, you'd be like freaked out by it, I think. To finish off this amazing day, we went with our Russian hosts along the water and enjoyed the most amazing sunset. Nothing like ending the day and starting the day at the beach. This is just Paradise. beautiful. Paradise. only about five minutes walk away was this amazing restaurant outside right along the beach we enjoyed a really nice dinner and no sooner than we arrived it was already time to say goodbye and head out to our next destination we'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching our video of Talala area here in Sri Lanka please subscribe give us a big thumbs up and we'll see you next time bye